Hey, what is up guys? It is your boy Kingdom Soldier and I'm back again with another gameplay slash commentary. Columbus is in two weeks and three days. Two weeks and three days and phase optic nation and optic gaming do not have confirmed rosters that is bananas three of the biggest teams biggest organizations obviously phase and optic two of the biggest organizations on youtube twitter do not have confirmed rosters for this event and i'm starting to be afraid because if you look at the number of open roster spots it doesn't line up with the number of people available because they're not all going to play together. So let's look at the way things are shaping up right now. So Optic Gaming dropped Proofy and Clayster. Clayster immediately within days signed with Team Envious. Proofy is still out there up for grabs and he's being rumored to go to Optic Nation and stay with the Green Wall. Uh, Optic Nation dropped well basically Killa left and miracles left and so now optic nation is embos and ricky but they're being rumored to pull in proofy and then pick up tp and karma from eg which means ricky would have to get dropped but ricky hasn't been dropped yet so uh we don't really know what's going on and then lastly we have phase who dropped two of their players and now it's apathy and sensor they've been playing with neslo they've also been playing with aches i don't think that team is meshing really well in my opinion i've seen them also play with dito um, but i don't know they're trying to get two of the players on eg but they haven't really released which two players they're trying to get on top of that other teams took their stab at getting some of these players and made some mistakes you know denial ceo was on our show yesterday and he said he still to this day regrets dropping two of his players to make room to try to get aches and tp and within hours of that i think it was within five hours he picked his players back up he grabbed replays and pulled them back on the team uh and now they have a full roster that has been submitted and so what you're looking at right now, and I believe that's uh, Zuma, Saints, Attach, and Replace. And so what you're looking at right now is a few teams that are all grabbing for these players. Envious did the same thing. They dropped JCap and Nameless, and then they immediately turned things around, dropped Formal, picked up JCap and Nameless, and grabbed Clayster and submitted their roster. So Envy is in. Um, now, you may be wondering, are these dudes really worth, like, like why is everybody scrambling for these five players like what is the point okay so let's look at these five players you've got crim six who is a 14 time champion and arguably one of the top two players on the sticks right now you've got aches who is an 18 time champion the winningest player in call of duty history in form in the in terms of tournament wins you've got aches 18 time champion you've got tp 17 time champion and then you've got karma who was a 10 time champion and a two time call of duty championships cod champs champion and arguably one of the best players in the game and then you also have dito who was a two time champion and arguably on Ghost was one of the top slayers in the game and one of the most consistent at doing his role in it doing so yeah these guys are worth it I mean we're talking about a combined 61 championships they are worth it they're worth what these owners are doing my only fear is that what denial CEO said on our show yesterday on the sticks is he said there may not be a buyout option in these guys contracts which means the owner of EG can pitch whatever price he wants for these players. He can say, if you want these players before the first when their contracts are up, you're going to have to pay $20,000 per player. And for a team like Optic that's looking at three of them, that would be $60,000. Now, can Optic afford that? Probably. That's probably the only reason why FaZe and Optic are the only ones really left in contention for getting any of these players because they can afford it. Um, so nobody knows what's going to happen. If you weren't, if you don't follow on Twitter, today there was this blunder, this article that was released by Red Bull, and they stated that Crim6 was on Optic. And then Nadeshot got on Twitter immediately to nip it in the bud and said that was a mistake, that was hearsay, and Red Bull tweeted the same thing. But everybody's thinking 
we all know Krim is going to Optic. If it's at all possible, it's going to happen, and we're going to have one of the best teams that we've ever seen in competitive Call of Duty um, on paper. We'll see how they actually play together. And so things are getting a little bit scary. Nobody knows what's going to happen. What would be crazy is if EG played at Columbus and placed, like, top three. If they were forced to play together and they placed top three, they just won ESWC. So what if they played at Columbus, placed top three, do they then split up? Do they still go their separate ways and then force EG, the organization, to try to find players? Um, it's kind of bananas. And the concern is that if they don't get released, the only top players that are left right now are Neslo, Miyagi, Slasher, Chino, and Proof. And Proof isn't going to go back to Optic Gaming, but he may go to Optic Nation. Neslo looks like he's going to phase, if at all possible. They haven't released anything saying he's officially on phase. And then Slasher and Chino played with Curse in the 2K where they got second and in the 5K where they got first. So the assumption is that Curse is going to potentially pick them up. So you do have Miyagi left over. So someone like Optic Nation could run with Imbos, Proofy, Miyagi, and Ricky. And that could be an actual team. Who the heck is Optic Gaming going to get? I don't know. You guys tell me in the comments, who do you think is going to end up on these teams? How do you think this is all going to pan out? Um, it, it's really it's really messy right now. And I think, you know, I know Hex. He's a smart guy. Um, he wouldn't take a risk if it wasn't worth it. You know, no risk, no reward. Low risk, low reward. Big risk, big reward. Um, and landing Krim and Formal on the same team with Scump, that's a big reward in my opinion. <laughs> Nevertheless, this is your boy Kingdom Soldier, 41 and 19 on uh, Pubs Hardpoint, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.